Ever wondered if there's another world after death? What would you be like in a different life? Would you hang out with this reincarnation of your close friend? These are the kind of questions Asakai mangas explore. These popular manga series are loved by fans for their familiar settings and immersive storylines. We've compiled a list of what we consider the best titles in the genre. It's by no means a complete list, but it should provide some great starting points for your next adventure. If you haven't checked out the first part, then it will be in the description and go check it out, folks. Okay, let's begin. Number 10. Bishoju ni Nata Kedo. Etoge Heijin Yatmasu. The story follows the high schooler Jintaro Futsu, whose confession was rejected by his crush. His misfortune continues as news of a gender change disease turns Jintaro into a beautiful silver haired girl. The shock of it causes him, or her, to try to escape from reality by playing VR MMO, Clan Clan. His game character Taro uses the same girl's appearance as real life and alchemy skill, which most players call a trash skill. He meets lots of fellow adventurers and, 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 he becomes stronger within the game world of Clan Clan. Taro hides what happened to his or her appearance as a bug to his friends who also play the game and hides the fact that he or she had become a girl in real life. This is a manga about a boy who is now a girl and is playing a game differently than everyone else. It's pretty good, honestly. Number 9. The greatest prophet who nurtured a hundred heroes, even if he becomes an adventurer. His disciples throughout the world will still yearn for him. Raising a hundred heroes and ending the war with an evil god, Isin saved the world. Having received a great injury from protecting the heroes, he left for the other world to recover. In that time, the heroes made use of their abilities to contribute greatly to the development of the world. Longing to meet again with the master they admired, they reported him of their achievements in detail. Reading their letters, Aizen makes a decision to set out and pay each of them a visit as he travels the country to sightsee. Check it out, man. Number 8. The Dark Queen and I Strike Back Sometimes in need to provide some worthless manga also right. Our MC is a decorative wife. She loves being a waitress during the day and a fluffy rabbit at night. Rosaline has been married to King Sehart, Luberia, for a half a year and has become a decorative queen without being touched during that time. That is because Sehart is cursed and can't spend the night together. Not knowing that, Line dotted the rabbit who came to her bed every night and by chance she decided to work as a waitress at a restaurant in the downtown area. The art is not that good in my opinion, but it's worth the read I guess. Number 7. I Choose The Emperor's Ending this manga reminds me of Dr. Stone. Imagine being a scientist from the 21st century and then time traveling back to the medieval ages. Having that scientific knowledge and being able to help prevent wars and fights was basically what Marina Areno was doing. Marina Areno is literally the best girl. Smart, sly, cute, you name it. Obsessed with medieval fantasies, Marina develops a revolutionary VR device that can bring fictional worlds to life. Her dreams come true and she transports herself to Lasna Rock, the setting of her own novel. The problem is she can't get back out, disguised as a runaway slave boy named Rhino, or should I say Reno, I'll say both honestly. She comes face to face with the main character as she created the ambitious Edward Allen Dehas. Can Marina help him overthrow the Emperor and survive to make it out alive? Well, overall, it's a pretty good plot. I love it. It's amazing, man. You gotta check it out. Number 6. Doctor's Rebirth In a fun mix of cliché asakai into a novel, Murim and modern-day doctor knowledge elements, I had been abroad to do medical volunteer work when I was swept up in a civil war. I was killed by a rebel soldier while taking a bullet for a patient, but when I finally woke up, I had become a child? And in front of me stood a destroyed carriage and a group of oddly dressed people, who were unconscious. As I hurried to perform first aid in an attempt to save even one person, I realized that this world is that of a Murim novel that I've enjoyed reading. This is a pretty good manga, and the MC is smart and acts like a real human would, which is quite enjoyable. 
It's a pretty classic plot, so I definitely recommend this one. Number 5. Devil Sword King. It's a really nice manga, but the only place you can find it is on Tapas. A boy lives two lives, a young leader in a magical world and a high schooler in reality, and he's determined to live in both. Overall, pretty good story, pretty good manga, but it's also not free. Number 4. I got caught up in a hero summons, but the other world was at peace. This is basically some sort of an esekai where the protagonist is a loner and gets summoned into a new world to fight the demon lord and save the world from the imminent destruction. When you get summoned to another world, things are supposed to go a certain way, right? Become a hero, battle monsters, and slay demons. But when Kaido gets his summons, things are a little different. First off, he's not even the hero, but it doesn't matter because the world he's been thrust into is at peace. But nothing better to do, Kaido finds himself taking it easy in the unexpectedly mellow fantasy world. Now he can breakfast with his beautiful denizens, learn magic, with the help of a spunky demon girl, go to barbecues, and so much more. Harem is the only part that could bring any enjoyment. So, if that is not what you want, then this is the most definitely not for you. Number 3. Reincarnated as in Aristocrat with an appraisal skill. So I really like this one, it has a lot of potential and the art is fun. After being reincarnated, Ars Lovent is supposed to live in a different world as a weak aristocrat. Both his physical strength and intelligence were mediocre in both worlds, but here he naturally possessed a skill called appraisal that allowed him to see the potential on any person. By gathering talented people by his side, Ars uses his appraisal skill to transform his weak territory into the strongest one. But the road ahead of him won't be so simple. The series is a nice read if you like that type of plot. An MC that is not OP and instead needs to gather powerful vassals to protect their family's lands? Yeah, damn. Number 2. Rules for Peddling in Another World If you accidentally crossed over into another world, what kind of abilities would you need to reach your peak in? Would you become an enchanter, a hero, or maybe a cultivator of immortal techniques? Of course not, you would take advantage of your present day knowledge in this other world to do business and earn big bucks. Overall, it's a pretty good read. Number 1. Survival Story of a Sword King in a Fantasy World Of course, the story is super interesting, I would recommend you all to read it if you haven't yet. After being recently discharged from military service and just drifting through life, Han Bin Ryu is suddenly transported to another world, however his guideline, the system bestowed upon him to help with his survival and growth, was filled with errors, causing him to be stuck in the tutorial stage for over 20 years. When he is finally released from his personal hell, he finds everyone has turned against other worlders like him. Just how will this low-level super tutorial newbie survive? While at first glance it might look like your average Asakai, it's anything but. There's a whole lot more plot than you'd expect, and a surprise twist I can't explain without spoilers. The story was unique and fairly good in any way you can check it out, man. That's all for today, hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, then give this video a like and share with your friends and family, and also subscribe for more Top 10. Stay safe and take care. My name is Zeta Khan, and I'm the voice of the voiceless. See you next time.